inspiration is something that is just wow needed in the world um, in our day to day activities. It's just amazing how how you can impact someone's life by simply sharing a compliment or you know just saying hello or making eye contact with someone. Inspiration comes in so many different forms that. Once that word kind of showed up in my life, you really start to see it everywhere, everywhere. Inspiration in, in, in the socks that I wear, inspiration in the color of my shirts, uh, inspiration is everywhere. And so for me, it, it is, it's my life. It's my life. Go to work, let your job pay the bills, feed the kids, keep the lights on, do that. What, what are you dreaming about? What is it that you really want to do? What is it that you aspire to do? What is it that someone has told you you could do that you kind of put on the back burner because you don't believe you can do it? That's what I'm going to tell that guy. Just take a look at that. Figure that out for yourself and realize that the job's good for something, but it's not good for everything. And it's very, very important that, you know, we teach people how to help pursue their dreams. And it has nothing to do with the your age, you know, guy. Hey, you're not too old. No, you still have so much time and so much time to realize your true dreams. That's what I tell them. Go to work, but build your dream. Don't forget about that dream. Those dreams that we had when we were little people, that, boy, it's amazing how you can make a cardboard box into a three-story condominium, right? You could, if you could find a refrigerator box, it was absolutely amazing. But we somehow just kind of put that away, and we started to conform. So I'd tell him not to conform. I'd tell him to, to truly follow his heart. I truly would. A lot of people would look at me and think that, you know what, he's had it handed to him. I have had it handed to me, but it wasn't what they thought I had handed to me, handed to me. I, um, I'm the product of two drug addict parents. Um, my mother will tell you today that my son raised himself from the time that he was eight years old. I cooked for myself, I cleaned for myself, I learned how to iron when I was eight. That was the one thing my mother taught me. Everything else, well, um, she'll tell you, it didn't really teach him much. He figured it out on his own. And I gotta tell you that I'm uh, grateful enough that I can actually even see that the, the, them not being there for me actually put me in this chair today. It forced me to become independent and, and, and my survival instinct kicks in and you realize you either die or you fly. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to fly. I'm actually going to soar. And the reality of it for me is, is that in looking back at it, I thank my mother for not being there. Most people could never make that shift or that transition. It's been a very, very long journey. And I got to tell you, I have a Ph.D. I have a Ph.D. from the School of Hard Knocks, and most people just don't know. They don't know until they get to know me. And then they go, you got to be kidding me. And I go, nope, not kidding you. I, and that's where, back to the inspiration, and I know you, you, you asked what it meant to me, and I said, it's my life. My story can inspire people to be more, do more, have more, because there's somebody out there that thinks that because their parents weren't there for them, that they can't. And I go, no, if anything, it helps you to do it. Because you don't need to rely on anyone else. You have self. You can rely on yourself to get where you need to. And once you get that far, you know there's other people out there. There are resources made available to you now in the, in the information age. Oh, everything you need is out there for you. All you have to do is be willing to dream a little bit and realize that you truly, truly can and know that just because it was hard, that's not a bad thing. It actually builds character. It, it, it makes you develop principles and philosophies and realize how strong you really are. Character is an amazing thing. And character is not just a cartoon on the screen. A character is something at the core that most people just don't know about. And I got to tell you that where I came from has built a lot of character with me. And I love to share my story with people, portions of my story, the whole story. The reality is that it's just a story and it doesn't define me, but it definitely help put me where I am today. That thing that's going on in your mind, false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. It's not real. You've made that up in your mind. Realize that everything that you need is right out there for you. Don't be afraid enough to stand still. Be afraid enough to be motivated by that fear is what I would tell you. 
You know, a 14 year old kid who thinks they're out there on their own and don't know where to go, or what to do. And my parents have left me. What do I do? Well, you know what? We have to make decisions. Do we stay or do we go? And where do we go? Well, you know, don't necessarily have to know where right now. All I need to know is that I need to go and make that decision and everything else opens up behind that. So I would tell that young person to, to, to make a decision. And, and, and there are resources for you. They, there are. Information is so readily available. And realize that just obtaining that information, that knowledge will help you make a decision. I wear 42. I wear the 42 because it symbolizes making a decision and how a simple decision can change your life. You, not just your life. It can change the lives of all the people around you. And it can change the direction of the world, of a culture, of a nation. A simple decision. And the information is there for, to help you make the right decision for you. While the road less traveled for me really is the road that I want to take. You know, I'm a trailblazer, if you will. And I realized that sometimes, not immediately now in this particular case, I didn't see it. I just didn't. I saw it on the surface. And I got to tell you that this is much deeper than a cup of coffee. It's much deeper than a dusty box of coffee. And it's much deeper than just supporting a friend by buying a box of it. There is something that has happened over the last three and a half to four years that has been absolutely amazing. And now that I'm on the other side, I've got to tell you that for the person that is skeptical of those things, that all it is is a matter of not knowing. Because you don't know, you'll tear something down. But i got to tell you, what you could be tearing down could be the very thing that can free you, that can liberate you, that can take your life to the next level, that can allow you to meet amazing people like the Hearst family and, and their wonderful children. If I hadn't embarked on that mission, I wouldn't have, we wouldn't be where we are today. Because I knew them, I'm sorry, one, I knew one person in the, in the family, but I didn't know the family. I hadn't met the family yet. But because of this, this, this business, we've been able to get to know one another and been able to go, wow, to a place that who would have ever thought? A, a coffee business, a cup of coffee could carry you. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. I could talk about it all day long and I know I don't have all day to talk about it, but the reality of it is, is that it's a decision that was made to buy a box of coffee, and that decision has led me to uh, new business ventures. It has led me to believe in myself in, in ways that I never thought I could believe in myself. It has led me to places where I believe in other people more than they believe in themselves, and I'm doing my part to help them believe more in themselves. All of that because we decided to drink a cup of coffee one day. That's powerful stuff. Is there something more that you want? or? Is what you have what you want? Because the answer to that question would dictate what I'd really tell him. If he says he wants more, then I'd recommend that he maybe change some things if he doesn't like the way that he's treated by people. I would, I would recommend also that he associate with some different people. You know, I have a sibling that is, wears his hat around backwards and, and wears his pants sagging down. He's my polar opposite. And I've told him that very same thing. But he has it all figured out. And if you, if you're that young person and you go, well, I have it figured out, well, stop and look around and ask yourself, is where you are where you want to be? And is where you are, what is, is what you have what you want to have? If it is, then okay, great. Be happy and live your life and be happy. But if it's not and you want more, then we have to do some things differently. Some things have to be done differently. Too many people don't appreciate what they have in the simple things that we have. The people closest to us and the fact that we can't get up and walk to the bathroom every day. The fact that we can go to the restroom every day. The fact that we opened our eyes every day. Too many people forget that. So first and foremost, just the fact that you can open your eyes and sit up on the side of the bed and be grateful for another day. You know, and the second thing is I, I recommend that People put some good food in their bodies, and not just the stuff you eat with a spoon and a fork. I'm talking about knowledge. I'm talking about listening to something. You don't like to read? Great. Then listen to something that's, what do I always tell the kids? Is it fiction or is it nonfiction? Listen to some nonfiction. Don't, don't hear somebody else's story that is, is made up. Listen to some, some reality and learn something that you might be able to help, uh, help yourself grow from. 
So read a book, listen to a book. And then I'd, I'll, I'd also say that the third thing is to make sure that that day that you associate with somebody that maybe you wouldn't have associated with before. Say hi to someone, make eye contact with someone and realize that those are, those are how you make connections with people is by simply looking up and saying hello. I give, I'm a giver. G-I-V-E is a word that is just in me. It's been in me from day one. I've given of myself um, in any form. That's the shirt off my back and the money out of my pocket, um, the words out of my mouth from my experiences in hopes that it might actually help someone make it another day, go another step. And paying it forward right now is really about right now sharing my experience and my story where I've come from and where I'm going, what I believed before and what I believe now and how it can help. I pay it forward by sharing of myself, literally sharing of myself, um, sitting down and taking the time with people. The time is time is huge. It's the one thing that we just don't get more. Of. You just don't get that. You don't get that back. There's so much value in it. When you share it with someone that is in need, major things can happen for those people. Paying it forward is about me giving up my time. And I've been told, I don't understand how you do it all. And I tell them, you don't have to understand how I do it all. The fact of the matter is, is that I do it all because I'm driven to do it all because I have to do it all. Because I have to pay it forward. When you know something that can help someone, how do you keep that to yourself? How do you do that and live with yourself? How do you do that? I ask that question to people all the time. If you have an experience that you think can help the person right there, my recommendation is that you share that experience. It's not up to you whether it does help them. It's up to you to share it. So that's how I pay it forward. I share. My name is Maurice Talley, and that's my chapter and verse. <laughs>